I like to tell a story from the Ramayana about King Ram. Due to a certain palace intrigue which always takes place in palaces, Lord Ramachandra was asked to actually give up the title to the throne. Uh, although his father wanted to coronate him on the following day, still he agreed to leaving the kingdom and going into exile for 14 years. And he gave this promise to his father, who himself felt very compromised by even having to ask his son to do that. Anyway, there's a lot of story behind that. So Ram, his wife, uh, and his brother Lakshman, they went off into the forest uh, in uh, India and they were wandering. And after some months, the father died. Ram's father died. The king passed away. And there was a real uprising in the city. Everyone wanted Ram back. So Ram's other uh, brothers, other two brothers, they came and they found him. And they told him, your father has passed away. The citizens all want you back. Everyone understands that this intrigue was completely unjust. You're the most worthy of being the king, so please come back. Lord Ramachandra said, no. In our family line, in our dynasty, we have a tradition of truth. And our truth is such that when we give our word, then we will rather die than be seen to be untruthful. Whether the citizens want me back or not is not an issue. Uh, whether I'm the best person to rule or not is not the main thing. The main thing is that I've given my word to my father and I have to keep my word. And when I complete my 14 years of exile, then I'll return. So let's think about that. How much does our word of honor mean to us? How much does our promise mean? When we speak, do we maintain a real dignity, integrity with what we say, that no matter what circumstances are there, we always keep our word? It's a wonderful lesson from the Ramayana.